Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. In this video we're going to go over the current setup, what graphics cards we have, what we've been mining, what hardware we're looking at getting for future builds, state of graphics cards, their prices and ROI, and our current setup for Chia Mining. And last but not least, I'd just like to thank everyone that has been supporting our channel. We've reached 1,000 subscribers. Thumbs up to everyone that have subscribed. Let's get into it. So this is our current setup with the six graphics cards. This is our Frankenstein bold and then we've got one lonely RX 588 gig. I had to sell the other two cards two months ago so I need to buy a few new cards. Okay. And then we've got the mining frame with the six card motherboard that we still need to build as well, but I'm still deciding on which cards to use. But yeah, so I still need to expand, very much expand on our graphics cards that we have, but we'll get there in time. The prices of cards are insane and the profits are not really that high. So I need to think about this very carefully. Just to update you on what we're running in our Frankenstein server, we have six graphics cards ranging from the RTX 2070 Super. We have three GTX 1660 Super 6K graphics cards, an RX 5700 XT and the GTX 1070. We are using NB Miner which picks up all the graphics cards and we are mining Ethereum. Our total hash rate is 215 mega hash at 576 watts and that's just the graphics cards. We're probably using about 100 watts more than that for the total system. So let's say about 700, 750 watts. Ethermine.org has changed their payout policy from the 1st of June 2021 to support smaller miners. The payout system enables payouts as low as 0.005 Ethereum per day. No action required if you want to receive your payouts on the Ethereum mainnet as usual. Polygon is EVM compatible. You cannot receive Polygon payouts if you mine directly to an exchange wallet, which I'm currently doing. And if you do want the daily payouts, you would need to create a wallet with MetaMask Wallet. Your daily automatic payouts of all balances above your configured payouts threshold from 10 to 0.1 ETH, which I'm nowhere close to that, um, the network fee paid by the pool. The monthly automatic payouts on the 28th of each month for all balances above 0.01 that have not received a payout during the last 21 days, the fee is paid by the pool. That means that with the mining setup that I have, I will be paid out on the 28th of every month, so that's once a month. Manual on demand payouts of all balances above 0.005 ETH. The miner will pay the fee, the transaction fee, and it needs to be paid into the MetaMask wallet. So you can't do a manual payout to an exchange or any other wallet if it's not on the Polygon. I will leave this link down below as it's got some relevant links below. Looking at mining pool stats, we can actually see the change in price for each cryptocurrency. As you can see, Bitcoin has dropped 6.81% in the last 7 days. Ethereum has dropped by 17.77%. Doge has dropped by 
Ethereum Classic has dropped by 19.54%. Current price of Bitcoin is at $35,000. Ethereum is at $2,296. Ethereum Classic is at $53. Let's take a look at the Ethereum network. So we were mining on ethermine.org, which has 125 terahash per second. We moved down to the third option, which is F2 pool. And they've only got 53 terahash on their network. F2 pool does find a lot less blocks per 100 blocks. Their fee is a bit more than the others, which is 2%. And I thought I'll give this site a try. So all we're doing, we've got one server with six graphics cards with a hash rate of 216 mega hash per second. And we're moving that server to F2 pool for a few days to see how it runs. Okay, this is the site. And you need to create an account if you want to mine on the pool. So let me log in and show you what we've got. Now if we look at the stats on F2 pool, we can see our total revenue before the payout. And they do a payout at 0.1 Ethereum. So my current balance is 0.045. So we still have about 11 days of mining before we get a payout. Profits are definitely down compared to about two months ago when I used to get 0.1 Ethereum every seven days. Now we're getting a payout every 20 days. It's my current balance and you can see what we've done yesterday. 0.005 Ethereum for yesterday on 200 mega hash. Our total hash rate currently is at 217 mega hash. This is F2 pool. So once we've received a payout from this pool, I will be moving back to ethermine.org and try the new method to the MetaMask wallet. See if we can get a daily payout and see what the difference is in revenue. This is the F2 pool app, uh, which has been set up on the Ethereum address that I'm mining to. If you look at the dashboard, you can see what your current hash rate is, your earnings for yesterday, today's earnings, how many miners you've got available. Let's go to worker, see what it has. I've got one server on this pool and it's mining at 215 mega hash per second. If you look at the revenue to see what you're earning on a daily basis it gives you a breakdown of every day what you've earned and your current balance before it gets paid out now if the pools payout needs to be at 0.1 ethereum as you can see i started on the 3rd of june and if we calculate that out, it should take about 20 days to pay out. So 0 0.045, that's about 9 days. We still have 11 days before it gets paid out. So that is our Ethereum mining currently. I do have one other card. I do have another graphics card, which is the RX 588 gig. That's mining on ethermine.org. And this is mining directly to Binance. I'm using those profits to change to altcoins and if I'm not mistaken the profits that the miners are getting paid out is a lot less because of the polygon payouts as you can see saving more than 210 million on gas fees and ensuring ethermine stays the most profitable mining pool so there's definitely a lot less gas fees meaning the mining profits are less as well this card is only generating about 30 mega hash per second and 
earning about 0.00073 ETH per day. BTC and it's earning about $1.68 per day. That's on an RX 588 gig. I'm going to stop there for now to keep the video as short as possible. Hope you found this video informative and insightful. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you guys are mining, which pool you're mining to and what you think of the current payouts at the moment. I will be going over a few graphics cards as well, so leave a comment down below on what graphics cards you think I should be buying. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, catch you on the next video, ciao for now.